Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bag Brigade. Hope y'all are having a good Friday evening. Uh, <laughs> we've had a good night here. Um, spent the evening with my mom. Oh, I'm just moving the camera around. So, hope oh, that doesn't make, give nobody a headache. Sorry about that. Um, just went and got her and brought her over here and we cooked some dinner. We let her do a load of laundry after the dog threw up on her bed. <laughs> Her little chihuahua, little red, threw up on her bed. And so she needed to bring her bedding over here and wash it. And so we cooked uh, some steaks and some potatoes. And and uh, we had stopped by the store and got a lemon cake, a, cr a lemon cream cake from Brookshire's, our local grocery store. And it was delish. And watched some TV. And um, then I took her home. And here I am talking to y'all. So, we did want to talk a little bit about this. This is what I talked about in one of my most recent videos. This is going to be shelved. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody that was so proud of me. This about give me an anxiety attack. Uh, me and Kayla talked about this yesterday evening at dinner. And apparently, and, and she's absolutely, absolutely right. This is not big enough for to be the back of a boho vest. So I've got to kind of go back to the drawing board. This needs to be bigger before you start building to make it the back of a boho vest. So I'm either going to have to try again with a different yarn or something else. But, uh, but, you know, of course it could always just end up being a pretty doily. Um, I need to stop giving up on stuff, but sometimes my mental health is more important than a project it's always more important than a project so uh, and if you're wondering about the yarn this is some discontinued yarn from Premier that was given to me by Cheryl this is uh, I'm using a 5.5 uh, eye hook from it's a clover hook um, clover is what I prefer uh, this is Premier home uh, the uh, it's 490 yards per skein I have several skeins of this uh, that Cheryl uh, sweetly bestowed upon me. It is uh, 490 yards per skein. It is, doo -doo -doo. let me find the content here. 83% cotton, 15% uh, polyester, and 2% metallic. It's got a gold gold metallic thread running through it. And it's, uh, but it's got a high content of cotton in it. So it makes it a little hard to work with for me. Uh, I have trouble working with high co high cotton content. Now, the cotton cakes from Karen are 60-40, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. Those are easier to work with. They're still, you know, dry my hands out, but it's easier to work with. But what I did do is uh, I had already had the tutorial by, by Fiber Spider uh, for another type of vest uh, saved, which starts with a granny stitch shawl type a pattern but what you do is you you go about 20 some odd rounds um you go, depending on the size you're looking for but you know per 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 fiber spider you you go so many rounds and then you do you know a chain and then you know you go the rest of the rounds you make an armhole so um i did attach his tutorial on my last vlog video I will do so on this one as well, just in case anybody's interested in crocheting and making this with me, along with me. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the same yarn. Now, um, Kayla also helped me with a mental block about what to do when I do the chain. Since um, going into the chain with this particular yarn is going to be quite difficult. So, uh, what she advised was just to crochet around the chain. So... Duh. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but my brain just, you know, my brain was get the stitches right. Get the stitches right. Do do it exactly like the tutorial. You know, that's what my brain kept saying. My brain didn't want to go, you know, it just kept saying you got to do it exactly like the tutorial or it's not going to come out right. But I didn't think, you know, that I could just do it over the chain and it would come out right. But, you know, she's got a whole lot more experience at crocheting than me and she makes gorgeous things so she said you can crochet over the chain I can crochet over the chain so I'm definitely going to be doing that and I'm definitely going to be making 
the one the the crochet vest like that that's out of this um tutorial by fiber spider so i have a whole lot more confidence going into this one than i did the boho uh, mandela um vest a lot more confidence so um oh of course yesterday we wanted to film inside of joanne's but we couldn't because of all the music she had already been in and i could hear the music coming from inside um and you could hear it it was loud the music was loud inside joanne so you really couldn't um there's no way we could have uh, filmed in there and not got a copyright ding pardon me uh this uh metformin medicine i'm taking for diabetes uh yeah i i, I have pre-diabetes or i guess I, i'm a full but i guess it's diabetes because um he wouldn't give me the medicine if i wasn't but i'm just a little bit diabetic not not like really my a1c is not that high it's like 6.4 but it's not below i think you have to be below below a five point five i think or something like that i forget what you got to be below to not be diabetic but um my sugar stays like at a 120 so it's it stay with even like when i go like a week without taking the medication which i sometimes do um my i'll, I'll check my sugar and well really the only sugar intake i have are my mountain dews that's really the only sugar i would i will uh i t tend to to have is my Mountain Dews. Uh, I'm gonna move y'all a little closer because I'm gonna lean back and crochet a little bit. But um, the only sugar I really have, typically will have, is my Mountain Dews. So, um, but, um, and it'll be like at a 120. So, It only goes up if I eat like really a whole lot of sugar. Like if I went in there and ate like a huge, like half of that cake, then I would expect my sugar to go up. But I don't eat sweets like that. I don't um, eat a whole lot of sweets like that. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I've gotten real good about not eating as many sweets as I used to. I used to, I have a real bad sweet tooth, but at the same time, I don't, um, I'd like to live a, a little bit longer, so so I cut way back on the sweets, so that you know I didn't have to go up on this medication and didn't have to become insulin dependent and all that, and I could keep my A1C pretty low. If I, I mean, it seems to have stabilized, or it must have because they haven't said anything else. They checked it uh, not too long ago. And they didn't say anything about it being higher or lower, you know, higher or lower than it would have tested out as the 6.4. So, obviously, it's been stabilized at the 6.4. So, I still have to take the medication to keep it from getting worse. But, um, you know, no one's giving me stern warnings or talkings to about it. So, obviously, I'm not uh, doing too terrible with it not terrible enough to get you know war stern warnings from your doctor you know how that goes but uh unfortunately the metformin still does kind of mess with my stomach a little bit but uh he did give me medicine when we were concerned that my pain in my side was um when we, we were worried that it had something to do with my intestines he gave me medicine for um like irritable bowel syndrome he gave me some medicine for that and uh so um <laughs> i kept that medicine of course and the metformin tends to mess my stomach up a little bit like that as if i had irritable bowel syndrome and so when it acts up like that i just ta i just take that medication he gave me and it calms right down so i just you know it's one of those things you fight fire with fire. That's all you could do is, is keep going, you know, because I got to keep going. I just keep taking the medication that that I'm prescribed, and but uh, at least 
the other pain medicine that I'm only taking once a day seems to last most of the day and um, when I'm not taking it at night the the um, tramadol I only take it at night when I'm going to try to sleep because sometimes that pain can crank up while I'm trying to sleep so I take it when I'm when I know I want to try to sleep because it's so heavy duty that if I take try to take it when I'm trying to be awake I'll be asleep because it'll make me too sleepy to stay awake so but um, I just got to make sure I take if I take the two two pills to, to make sure I take Benadryl with it because if I don't I'll be really itchy and uh, nobody likes to be super itchy that's not comfortable to be very itchy um, but it, it is what it is you know you got to do what you got to do you know y'all can't even see what I'm doing and I have no way of lowering that let me just lower it like this maybe then y'all could see see better yeah that's a little bit better but uh, I did hear from Atlanta finally uh, via email and she's really not doing that well y'all we got to really pray for Atlanta Hawkins um, she's gotten most of the packages that were sent to her my package shows delivered to the P.O. box but she hadn't had a chance to go pick it up she got to wait on her son being able to go help her pick it up. So, um, we're going to just continue to pray for her. She's in a bad way, uh, just having a rough time of it. So, Atlanta, I'm thinking about you, honey. I wish there was more I could do, but I'm, I'm not in any shape to do any more than the box that I sent, or I would. But, um... But I'm just uh, living day by day myself. We're just uh, trying, trying to make make it through life best we all can. And when you can't do for people, all you can do is pray. And you know, even even that is you know more than the average person would do for somebody. You know, just stop what you're doing and, and say a prayer for somebody. You know, that's still taking time out of your day and, and giving to that person, whether you realize it or not. You're still giving to that person. You're giving them your time. You're giving them your your care. You know, it's still giving them some emotion of yours and some care because you you actually devoted a little time to sit down and and. Uh, have a talk with Jesus on their behalf, you know, that's what prayer is. You're having a talk with Jesus on someone's behalf, either your own behalf or someone you're praying for's behalf, such as, you know, we we're praying for uh, Kayla and Big Daddy, you know, we're praying that Kayla doesn't lose her pinky, and we're praying for that they'll come figure out what's going on with Big Daddy, that, you know, he'll start to feel better, and he won't be so nauseous. Uh, they made it home today. She texted me, er you know, earlier today and let me know they made it home and, you know, that they were just going to rest and that she was going to nap. I'm sure she'll do us a video for tomorrow and let us know how she enjoyed uh, our visit and uh, she'll show y'all the yarn she got. She got quite a bit of yarn from Joanne's. And uh, <laughs> I kind of let my nerd show because... <laughs> Uh, um, I, de I guess I didn't even realize this, but that I had memorized almost all the names to the Red Heart Stripes yarn. <laughs> She'd go to point to one and I'd say, oh, that's so-and-so name. Oh, that's Fruity Stripe. Oh, that's Cool Stripe. Oh, that's, that's you know, Wild, that's Wild, uh, uh, that's Wildflower. That's Sutherland Stripe. That's you know, that's this, that's that. And she she go to look at the label. She said, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> and she said, do you know all of these? Have you memorized all the names? I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, when you don't have anything better to do. And, you know, you're just sitting on, you know, looking at your phone. And you're just kind of doing nothing. <laughs> but looking at it 
yarn shopping or, or window shopping in my case you know a lot of times that you just looking through different colors of things and you just it just happens that way you just end up you know memorizing the names of things i don't really realize i'm doing it until it, it just happens and then i'm in the store and i just happened she happened to point to it and and i and it just happened i didn't even realize that i had memorized them all until until that moment with her at the store and then i just happened to know all the names to them and you know i felt like a complete nerd three but it is what it is you know <laughs> I'm sure people are nerds about lots of things. You know, I just happen to be a nerd about Red Heart Stripes yarn. You know, I love that yarn. I love all the different colors. I love how bright and beautiful it is. And, uh, you know, I just like that yarn. I like all the different colors. It's fun to work with. And I, I love brightly colored things. So... And I think a lot of people like that red heart striped yarn, all the different colors they have. And and it for some reason, the, the red heart striped yarn is a lot softer than their solid color yarn. Have y'all noticed that? And I believe it's probably, like someone said, I forget who said it, but it's something in the way that the dyes work. You know, it's something in the, in the process of the dyeing of the yarn, the, the colors, the dyes. For some reason, maybe the process is, is different that they use, uh, the dyes that are different. So, so it makes it softer somehow. So um, that's the only thing I could come up with is that the, uh, the dyes are different and that's what makes it softer. Um, And I think the striped yarn is actually made here in the USA. I could be wrong about that. But I think the striped yarn is made in the USA. It's definitely distributed here in, in the USA. But, uh, oh, bugger. That's a little too loosey-loose. But uh, I like it. I like that Red Heart striped yarn. I got like a whole bunch of those favorite stripes. Uh, the one that kind of looks rainbow-like. Uh, I'm going to make so, uh, either a big blanket with it or a garment. I'd like to eventually make myself a big long duster with it, you know, like a duster sweater, like a like a sleeveless duster, maybe, because I, I, I like sleeveless things. Um, I like tank tops and sleeveless stuff. So um, I'm thinking a sleeveless uh, duster of some sort. I guess they probably call that a Ruana or something. I don't know what they call that, but uh, I'm not up on all the lingo. But I'll figure it out. Something kind of lace, you know, something fun and brightly colored. You know, something that goes with my personality. Outgoing and funny and, you know, bright. So, for Oh, here we go for the love. Okay. But this is going to go relatively quick. I'll be to 20 some odd uh, rows in no time. This this is working up not too bad. I think this, this doing the vest this way uh, will actually work out uh, much better than it would have with the uh, the boho idea. I'm more comfortable with the granny stitch than I am the other. Those triple crochets, they about kicked my butt. Let me tell you, my my <laughs> carpal tunnel was not thanking me for that. I have carpal tunnel in both arms, hands and arms and all the way up. And it was really hurting that night that I did, the, <laughs> did that. Whew. It was... I was rubbing the ointment on my arms and wrists and hands. So, as that, <laughs> as I was watching that tutorial and she was talking about more triple crochets, I was like, oh, no. No. I can't do any more triple crochets. 
not this this soon. It was not with this yarn anyway. Maybe with some thicker yarn it might not might not be so painful. But with this yarn, definitely difficult to do. It's just for some reason this yarn just didn't like it. Uh, I just want to sit and maybe crochet and chat with y'all during this today's vlog and see how y'all like that. I did. There's a certain amount of counting involved in this one. I just want to make sure I get the right amount of stitches here. Because I have put, got out of, got kind of in the groove and put too many in certain places. And then you have to frog it and go back. And I really hate frogging this, this yarn here because it gets splitty if you have to frog it. And I don't like a splitty yarn. Especially with that metallic thread going around it. Because that stuff, it separates from the yarn. And then you have to clip that off. Where it's separated from it. Because it just sticks out otherwise. But Nanny will get her a, a pretty sparkly vest. It just will be different than I originally planned. So... But, and I will do a live tomorrow night, and uh, I won't be doing this while I'm doing the live. I'll be looking at the screen, uh, co conversating with y'all, you know, watching the chat and, and uh, interacting with y'all. So, because um, I'm not going to ignore the chat. I don't never ignore the chat. I just think that that's completely rude that's what a whole that's what the live is about is about interacting with your people and chatting and um oh man i messed that one up i'm a loose crocheter y'all and when i don't have that when I'm, i don't like them real big loops like that i like it to be so somehow sometimes i'll redo a stitch if it looks too loose but uh anyway there's where we are i'm a wrap this video up and go in the living room and work some more on this but uh sure has been nice talking with y'all hope y'all have a good friday night uh hug your loved ones give them a kiss let them know you love them and uh say a prayer for those that we asked you pray pray for atlanta uh big daddy and and kayla mama mama kayla that is i'll tag her in the description so y'all know who i'm talking about and um y'all have a good night god bless you remember to adopt don't shop and i'll see y'all tomorrow bye